We've seen two examples where given the equilibrium concentration, we were able to find a KSP value. Let's now look at the reverse process. Let's find the maximum concentration of silver chloride. Now to do that, we would need the KSP value. So if we take a look on the text, we'll see that there's a table of KSP values that we've seen previously. And so this question is about silver chloride. So if we look up the KSP value of silver chloride, we'll see that it has a value of 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10. Given that information, we should be able to find the maximum concentration. Let's begin with the equilibrium. We have solid silver chloride, which is dissociating to form the silver ion, which is aqueous, and the chloride ion, which is also aqueous. And this reaction is reversible between the dissolution and the precipitation. My equilibrium is going to be KSP. It's going to equal the concentration of silver plus times the concentration of Cl minus. And we've already looked up the KSP value for this particular equilibrium. It's going to equal 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10. So what this question is asking for, it's asking for the equilibrium concentration of silver chloride. So that's going to be X. We can see that silver and silver chloride are at a one-to-one -one ratio. So if this is X, this is also going to be X. The chloride is also at a one-to-one -one ratio. So if the silver chloride and the silver are X, the chloride is also going to be X. I can plug that in to my equilibrium expression. I can say 1.6 times 10 to the negative 10 is going to equal the concentration of silver, which we've called X, times the concentration of chloride, which is also X. I can say that that equals X squared. So solving for X, I get X equal to 1.3 times 10 to the negative 5, and X is representing a concentration, so I'm going to use my units of molarity.